Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to land an ILS approach using the 737 that comes with FSX. Um, right now we are 12 miles north of DFW Airport. Um, we are going to land ILS runway 17 right. And to execute an ILS approach, you're going to want to do a few things to set it up. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the ILS frequency for the particular runway you're landing on. Um, you can do this uh, a couple different ways. You can go to the World tab on the uh, top menu and click on Map and then click on the airport you're wanting to land at and it'll have all the ILS frequencies. Or you can go onto your GPS and uh, click on Procedures and find the ILS frequency for the particular runway you're landing on. So for 17 right, our ILS frequency is 111.350. So you will want to go to your radio stack. And under nav 1, you can set your standby frequency, which will be for 17 right. So we'll set it to 111.350. Now that we have that done, we can switch our standby frequency over to active. So that has our frequency for 17 right, and uh, we're all set up there. The second thing you're going to want to do is go from GPS to nav mode. Um, when you click nav mode, it allows the plane to fly an autopilot, uh, fly an autopilot approach using the um, ILS frequency uh, and glide slope. So now that we have that all set up, we're ready to go here, and um, we will fly the approach. So as you can see on our map here, we are 13 nautical miles out of runway 17 right at 2,500 feet. We're using ATC, it'll guide you in on the ILS approach, uh, and it will bring you down to the flight level that will you can intercept the uh, glide slope. And quick note here, if you're too high, uh, you won't intercept the glide slope and you will uh, fail your approach. So we'll bring it down to 1,900 feet here. And we'll bring our speed back to 160. Okay, so now we are uh, out of 2,000 for 1,900 here. So we can go ahead and activate NAV1 by pressing the center button. And click approach hold. Now the aircraft is tracking the uh, ILS frequency and gathering information to line us up and get us on the right height. And on your PFD here, you can see this bottom reticle indicates your alignment with the runway, and the right reticle indicates your height um, in comparison to the glide slope. So the aircraft right now is tracking uh, the runway here, and it's turning back to the right. Go ahead and bring our speed back to final approach and lower our gear. As you can notice here, the reticle on the right is coming down. That means we've captured the glide slope and we are on track. We're still on autopilot, but 
can always disengage autopilot and disengage your speed auto throttle and land it manually. I usually disengage autopilot at minimums here, so once we get around uh, 300 feet, I'll disengage and land the plane automatically. So we're lined up and pretty good on height, maybe a little bit low. I'm going to go ahead and disengage right now. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. And that concludes our tutorial. As you can see, it was pretty simple. Um, if you could like this video and subscribe, that'd be awesome. And I'll have uh, many more tutorials to come. Thanks, guys.